Okay, so you have to forgive me. We're only gonna be able to do one take because I don't have any video editing software. But it came to my attention, Tara, that that someone was suggesting that your mom teach you how to drive, which I think is a great idea, except for one scenario. If there's a lake involved, especially if the lake looks like this, if there's a suburban involved, especially if the suburban looks similar to this or this year, or if there's a boat involved, and, and once again, especially if it looks like this boat. All the colors may be different in all these, but if these three things come together, you definitely can't have your mom teach you how to drive. Because let me tell you what happens. First of all, you're going to have a lake. All right. And what will be happening, what could happen is you'll have the Suburban hooked up to a trailer pulling the boat. So we'll have the Suburban here and it's hooked to the boat. See, this is a pretty normal thing. You know, suburban pulling boat out of the water, just like that. Now here's the problem. When your mom drives, okay? One day, it was really, really windy. And the boat was going all crazy in the water. And, and I was 17 at the time. I think this was 1996. Maybe I was 18. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, so the boat was just flopping around and it was really, really windy. And normally, it's pretty easy to do. Megan, my sister, would drive the boat onto the trailer while I drove the truck into the water and then pulled the boat out. But because the wind was blowing so hard that day, uh, someone had to hold the boat on the trailer so it didn't blow around while we were pulling it out of the water. So the only problem is the only other licensed driver in the area was your mom there's normally wouldn't be a problem but let me tell you what happened so first of all so we had the boat the the suburban parked here and the boat attached to it and i just needed to hold it while she pulled it out so i parked the car parked the suburban and and i got out of the car and i went and held the boat and then had your mom go to pull it out well so we're sitting there and it's windy and every and no one can hear anybody and all of a sudden, I tell your mom to go ahead and start backing or pulling the boat out of the water while I'm holding it, and it starts moving backwards. And nobody knows why. So we're like, stop, 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 stop. And we come up, and, and she's like, I don't know what's happening. I push, put my foot on the gas, and I just moved backwards. And, and I get in there, and the engine was off. And I'm like, okay, we have to start the car first before we start moving. And so she starts the Suburban. And then she goes and puts it in, you know, what it seemed like in gear. She put, she actually put it into neutral. And then she starts pushing on the gas. And you hear the going, engine going, Vroom. but she let off the brakes when she did that. And it started going backwards even more, blah, 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 blah. So now the Suburban's like, just in the water, just barely. And I come back around, I'm like, stop, stop, stop. I'm like, what's going on? She's like, I don't know, it won't go forward. And I'm like, oh, you got to put it in gear. And, Cause she just missed it. So she put it into, to drive. And then this, and then what happened is it was in two wheel drive at the time. So these back wheels were at that point wet and they're in the water. And so we go, we tell her to go again. So she takes her foot off the brake again and starts backing up and she pushes on the gas and the tires are spinning in the moss. And so it's still going backwards even though she's trying to go forward and it's going further and further. We're like, stop, stop, stop. She goes and pushes on the brake. And, and once again, we go up to her, I'm like, what's going on? She's like, I don't know. I was pushing on the gas. It was in gear. The engine was on. It still went backwards. Well, it's because of the moss on the tires. It couldn't get traction. So we're like, oh, that's not a problem. Just put it in four-wheel drive. And there's a little lever on the ground on this car where you put it into four-wheel drive. But when she pulled it back to four-wheel drive, it went into neutral. She didn't pull it quite back far enough to go into four-wheel drive. So when she took off the, her foot off the brake again, the car went backwards even more until just the engine barely was out of the water and the back of the car was completely underwater and your mom's sitting here and water's flowing in the, the driver window and, and Marin and Michael were in the back seat here and they were swimming and I remember things floating out the windows and I'm like, oh no, oh no. And so finally I swam in the car and 
and held the brake while your mom moved seats and then we were able to get it into four wheel drive and pull it out. And the real hero of the story is we took this Suburban all the way home. We op when we opened the back doors, water just flooded everywhere because it was completely full of water. And when we finally took it home, we were so scared. Your mom and I were really scared. We were all scared that my dad was gonna be really mad that we just put his Suburban in a lake. But um, we got back and he's like, oh yeah, those things happen. And that was it. He didn't even get mad at all. But that Suburban, forevermore had electrical problems. There's the story of the lake.